What's up, you guys? I think with a chance here back for my 63rd toy hunt video. I'm back at All Time Toys, and I got something to show so you. So, guys, look who I found. I finally found the Studio Series 85 Deluxe Class RC. Now, this is the one I've been really, really excited to get for the for the for the most part, and I think she looks pretty damn good. Um, and guess who else I found? I finally found also Ironhide. Let me back this up. So right here we have Ironhide. And I got to say, he looks pretty damn good as well. I got to say, Hasbro did a really good job with this figure. This looks amazing. Look at this. This is my second Studio Series Ironhide for the most part. Since we're getting that, since we're getting that um, Studio Series um, 86 Ironhide, the one I uh, did a video on. Uh, with this one, this one looks pretty cool. So today we're picking up not just Ironhide, but we're picking up RC. So we're picking up RC and Ironhide, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what else they got. Uh, got RC, we got Perceptor, which I still don't have, but I might as well give him a, get him another time, maybe. Yeah, I'll probably get him another time. Um, then we got these Transformer Studio Series premium dish, um, premium finishes of Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. I like this one way more than the previous version because how it's accurate to the movie though. And we got Bumblebee, which I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of this Bumblebee in particular. I like the original version. Then we got Megatron, Ratchet. Then we got Optimus Prime, Starscream, and Megatron from Siege. And we got a couple of Transformers. And that's pretty much it. And then we got some of the core class figures. Then we got some of the other Transformers. There we go. And then we got uh, Metroplex. And um, I can't remember this person's name. Um, and then we got the Autobot arc. And there's the Masterpiece figures up top. So that's, I think... These are the stuff, the stuff, that's the um, stuff they got. So today, we're going to be picking up Bumble... I'm sorry, not Bumblebee. Scratch that. Uh, so today, we're going to be picking up the Bumblebee movie versions of RC and Ironhide. So this is what we're getting. So like I said, today, we're going to be picking up RC and Iron and RC and RC Ironhide. So I guess these are the, one of my most top 10 inspirated figures I'm... That I am that I am absolutely 100% getting. So these are really cool representation of RC and Ironhide. They look like they just pop out of the Bumblebee movie and into the Studio Series line, and they look pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to get these guys reviewed. So I guess that's about it for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these figures paid, and I'll see you guys when I get home. Okay, guys, I am finally home. So let me go ahead and get these guys out. So here they are. Here are the figures. Ladies and gents, Ironhide and RC. And these are like badass uh, G1 versions of themselves from the movie. I gotta say, they did a really good job. I love how, I'm glad that Hasbro uh, did an excellent job with these figures and how they look accurate to the film. And I heard a lot of people have been really trying to find these figures in other stores or or trying to get them from Amazon or something. But you can get them from Amazon, though. They're, all, they're already in stock. Um, with these guys, I bought them in person. And so with Ironhide here, Iron, this Ironhide looks pretty cool. This is a slightly remodel of Ratchet. Which I knew, which I knew we was going to get anyway. Because I knew we was going to get Ironhide. Um, I think this is, I think this is almost, I think we're probably done getting the Studio Series Bumblebee, Bumblebee movie figures for the most part, I guess. I don't know. And for, uh, RC, RC looks pretty cool though. Um, this was the one I was basically 100% looking forward to because, you know, RC has been, RC is like my favorite female Autobot in the Transformers anime series, the Transformers, uh, and like other Transformers uh, shows or movies or video games or why not. Um, but with this RC, 
it was really nice to see her in the movie, including Ironhide. We only saw a little bit of a glimpse of Ironhide, but R.C. was the one that who made most of the cameo, made a cameo in the movie. But actually, R.C. wasn't the only one who made a cameo in the movie, including Ironhide. And like other G1 characters made brief cameos that actually surprised the G1 fans and myself included. So I'm glad I got these figures for the very first time, and I think that's about it for this Toy Hunt video for Ironhide and RC. It's great, to, it's great that I'm glad I got these figures for the first time. So I guess that's it for this Toy Hunt video for Ironhide and RC, so be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below, and I'll see you on my toy review for Ironhide.